Okay, we are back on PALS TV, everyone. Next, we'll be heading down to Gallia County for some social time with our, our friends down there. Last week, they gave us all kinds of great tips um, to really keep us busy right now and even some gifts for others um, to occupy our time. I think it was very helpful to learn different things that we can do to pass the time. So we really appreciate that. Um, I think it's gonna be tough to, to talk last week with uh, our friend Reagan, taking one for the team and putting egg and honey in her hair. But I'm sure this week will be no different. Um, we can't thank them enough. So we really appreciate it, Reagan and Brooke for coming on and being a part of this. Um, and happy Mother's Day, Brooke. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for having us back again. We're super excited. I'm going to spare the It's Friday song, but it's Friday. And so we're excited because it's the end of the week. And I don't know about you guys, but it has been kind of like the tough week for me. Um, I think like the schoolwork that has been sent home for the kids and all those things. There's been a time period where that was kind of fun or new or interesting or we're learning or we've got to just push through. But this week has just been really hard. And so we wanted to kind of help. Um, and actually, I've talked to other people that said, yeah, this week just really seems difficult. So how can we um, make sure that we're taking care of ourselves and um, our, our own habits? And how can we create healthy habits that are helping us um, really survive and thrive during this time? So um, I just want to talk a little bit about establishing a routine because I think that's one of the most important things you know I read a book once that was called something like make your bed um, and it talks about how if you only do one thing every day um, you need to make your bed how many of you make your bed I'm gonna scroll through here so I can see thumbs up how many of you make your bed every day yeah we got a few of them yeah so when we make our beds every day um, we've already accomplished something you know right now it's hard to feel like we're accomplishing things because we're not going to our centers or we're not able to go places and see people and so it's hard for us to feel like we're working or accomplishing anything so whenever we are able to um make your bed i know it's one simple thing but if you're able to make your bed then you've already accomplished something for the day so it's really important that you um get up first thing and make your beds now do we do that every day, Ray? Mm, yes. We do. I mean, Ray really likes making her bed in the morning and it kind of just sets you up for success. So if you can make your bed every day, give me thumbs up. That'll really help you guys. If we can have made beds, you're half thumb. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so making our beds every day is really important. Another thing about that would be try to wake up. I know right now we don't have a set schedule. You're not waiting on your transportation um, to come and get you. So you might be like, I don't know. I don't really need to get up. I can stay up as late as I want. And have I been doing that? I've been staying up way too late, haven't I, Ray? <laughs> way too late because I just want my own time. And I'm watching these shows. And so at, when I do that, I kind of... Um, I want to sleep in later and I'm not on a schedule. So one of the best things you can do right now is try to continue on the schedule. Um, go to bed at a normal time and then wake up at a normal time. So you can either set your alarm clock or you guys can set your phone um, to make sure that you're getting up and staying on a routine every day. How many of you don't even know what day of the week it is sometimes? It's like, I don't even know anymore. What day of the week is it? Except for Friday. We know it's Friday. Yeah, I'm trying to it's pizza day. It's pizza day. Yeah, treat yourself. That's another good thing to talk about. All right, so we're going to wake up at a regular time, set our alarm clock, get on your phone, set your alarm, whatever you need to do, and then um, make your bed. So those are the two things. Um, have you made your bed this morning? Yes, I did. I made both my beds. <gasps> she has two beds. Be cool. All right, so she has bunk beds and she made both of them. So that's awesome. Okay. Which I don't want to do ever again. All right, so then after that, even though, yes, even though we aren't in um, a habit of going and getting on our, um, our transportation or getting to a workshop, we still need to, and for me, like going to work, um, I feel a lot so better. Work. I feel a lot better if I get up and go every day, if I get up and get dressed. So um, how many of you have gotten dressed today and not wear the same clothes that you had yesterday? Um, yesterday you wore the same clothes. Nope. I did wear the same day, same clothes two days in a row. You're right. 
Stop That's telling me my secrets. Okay. So I got up and got dressed this morning and took a shower and that makes you feel better. Um, if in the least, if you can just get up and wash your face. So we're going to go over to the sink and Ray's going to wash her face and just show kind of like a morning routine. Um, how many of you washed your face this morning? Give me a thumbs up. If you washed your face, if you spent time, maybe you got ready. Um, David's going to bring over and we're going to talk about some other habits. So we're going to wash your face. All right, Ray. Okay, we don't typically do this. I do after I take some. We don't typically do this in the kitchen, but uh, we just wanted to show you guys an example. So we're gonna How get. How do I do that? What? How do I do that? You can bend down, get your soap. So we're using an antibacterial soap. So go ahead and get your hands a little soapy there. I'll lean over and get your face wet. With the soap? Yeah. Washing my face. Ready? Watch it. Just get all the yucky off from the night before, and it kind of feels refreshing, doesn't it? <laughs> Is it so refreshing? <laughs> Did it wake you up? Yeah? Okay, and beyond that, what are other good habits to do first thing in the morning? Deodorant. That's one of your favorites. You don't have to do that. Um, another good thing would be to um, go ahead and brush your teeth. Yeah. Right now, let's show us that. Yeah. Why did you do that right in my eye? Sorry, sister. So now we're going to brush our teeth. You want some? All right. Do it to it. And it's really good if you can use, you know, do the bottom really well, do the top really well. Reagan's rinsing here. No, okay, we're doing this. <laughs> Sometimes um, you might want to go ahead and grab yourself like some mouthwash and um, you can do that as well. Flossing is really important. I've read about flossing. Um, you can like live extra years if you floss every day. Do you think oh. it might be a good idea to wash or to brush your teeth maybe a little bit longer too? Yes. Than just what, brushing one tooth and then stopping? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about <laughs> is doing up and down, making sure you get in the back. Um, on the bottom teeth in the back, making sure that you use that probably about 30, 30 seconds or so of brushing at least. And then you can even rinse and then kind of do one more time. So that would be a good probably way to do it. And when we're talking about those morning habits of, you know, washing your face, that kind of makes you feel refreshed. Um, brushing your teeth makes you feel like you're ready for the day, sets you up for um, a good day. Also, I think of like self-care ideas right here. We're just gonna stop for a minute and do some self-care ways that you might feel better about yourself. So brushing your hair, you brushed your hair this morning. Um, you may want to pull it back. You want to go ahead and kind of pull it up and make yourself feel like I'm ready to do some things today. So Raven's going to take care of getting her hair back and um, just getting ready to do some chores or to do something that's um, productive. You know, in this time where we're not going to our, our centers um, or we're not going out to our work sites, I, we feel unproductive. And while you might think that's a good thing, like I get to laze around and sit around and watch my favorite shows, actually internally you're not able to um, feel productive and maybe you can't vocalize that for me like I didn't know that I was feeling like I wasn't producing but if you don't do some things like even chores um, that's helping you feel really productive and that's going to make you have for a better um, life it's going to make you feel better so along the lines of self-care and we have like a little facial um, kit micro microdermabrasion type facial cleansing kit and so um, this was very inexpensive, something we picked up at the dollar store. There's different rollers here. This is for exfoliating. Can I try um, Yeah, this is also going to be one that kind of stimulates the blood cells to come up in your face, uh, which is going to help. It has two settings. But this would make you feel like you're kind of taking care of yourself. So this is the slower setting. Um, go ahead and do another brush. You can also use... Um, you can also use some um, like different soaps on there as well to exfoliate and to help yourself uh, maybe smell good and, and rinse your skin. So this one, that one feels smooth, doesn't it? Yeah. And then we have this other exfoliating one. Right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Aren't they the same? Or is yeah, they two are the same. Probably because you use those the most often. This is harder to use. Yes. Yeah, because it's exfoliating your skin. So. 
Um, I just wanted to touch on some self-care ideas because while we're at home, we're kind of feeling low sometimes. And so I want you to know that it's okay and important to take care of yourself. Another thing along the lines of getting ready for the day and feeling better about yourself um, would be to maybe put on a little lip gloss if you're a lady. If you're a guy, maybe put on some cologne or some aftershave. Um, those are some ways that you can just kind of feel ready for the day, even if you're not going out. Woo, right? Look at that color, girl. Ooh. What you didn't make it I like. It's like a little uh, wine red here or something. It's raspberry. <laughs> okay, show us. Red. Raspberry. Show them. Brightened you up for the day. Makes you feel good about yourself. Makes you feel like you took care of yourself. It's a small, simple way, simple step to make you feel like you are investing in you. And like I said, guys can do the aftershave or cologne. Um, if you haven't, um, you know, sprayed that spray, what's it called? Axe body spray or something. Mm -hmm. so good. We take a shower. Just take a shower. Like Ray said, just take a shower would be good. That would make you smell good and feel good. Reagan does not have her ears pierced, but her friend made her some earrings. I think these are really cool. So that's another thing you can do is just kind of get dressed. Put on your favorite necklace. Aren't these that. cool? Ray's friend made this for her with um, they paper clips. And beats but she's got some length here. So it might make you feel better if you put on some jewelry, <laughs> put on your bracelet. Yeah, and some of you have favorite necklaces that have made you feel good about yourself. Um, I know like David loves his watch. I think that makes him feel good and ready for the day. And that also can make you know like what day it is, what time it is, where you need to be. And so if you put on your watch for the day, guys, that's another good option. Here, put that up, thank you. All right, now we're going to kind of dive into some chores because while we need to take care of ourselves and we've gotten ready for the day, now we want to feel productive. And so, Ray, why don't you get, we've got a few dishes here. Now, our sink, we have four kids and they eat all day long. Do you guys we've eat all day long? We've tried stuff. And give, me a, give me a thumbs up if you eat chips. Are those, are this is from coffee and bowls. And how many of you eat or drink pop? So you've got all these dishes piling up at the house. It's only on Fridays we only get hot. Yeah, they, just, they have a rough life. All right, so we're going to fill up our sink. Warm water to hot water is best to get yourself um, the most antibacterial. And it's just good right now, especially if you live in a group setting. You want to make sure that your um, dishes and silverware and utensils are really clean so that you're not passing germs. And that's just you should want that anyway, but during this time for sure. So let's go ahead and get out our dish soap here, Ray. I thought it was a fair. We got the Sam size account here. All right, so maybe about a little tablespoon worth there. Okay, take your washcloth. Yeah. You like doing dishes. So go ahead and wash those for us. You fill up your sink. And you know, something else that you could help right now is if you do live in a group setting or if you live with your parent um, or another caretaker, offering to do, do the dishes is a really nice way for you to give, um, for you to do something. So go ahead and then we rinse it. So we wash, we rinse, and then we're gonna dry. We're just showing an example. We have a lot more yet, but this is just an example. Thanks for doing my coffee mug. Speaking of coffee, we'll talk about that in a second. My tea mug here. Now I got her. Thank you, honey. All right, so that was an example of washing our dishes. You can dry them and put them away. That would really help out your caretakers as well or your home just to feel um, finished for the day and to kind of put things away. You're thinking of ways that we can, um, yes, this was a project. This was something to produce and to make you feel better. But out of that place, what can we do also now to, um, to feel good about ourselves? Well, I love coffee. I want you guys to think rewards right now because, um, you know, when we do things, we can earn something. So we've done, and you know, this is how we are with the kids. Like if you will clean up your toys, we'll go outside and play. Um, if we do the dishes, then we get to do such and such. And so Right now, it's like, okay, we did the dishes and I want some coffee. So here's my coffee mug. Whatever it is for you, maybe you love tea. Maybe you are really into juice or pop. Um, maybe there's some sort of treat that you really like. It's okay right now to feel like I deserve that. I earned that. I want to um, feel good about myself. So I'm going to do something that I love. So coffee is one of my big things. I got my coffee on the table. That's the way to um, feel like you're investing in yourself right now. Now, remember 
to kind of collect your items and uh, make sure things are put away so that you're ready for the next morning. And now let's go on back over to the table and talk about charts and ways that we can keep on track. All right, so there's my coffee. So I've got my drink. What else did we say was really good for us during this time last week when we were trying to make choices and we said fancy water? Did any of you try fancy water? Thumbs up, high fives, show me. Yeah. Nobody? So when we do um, fancy water and we drink more often, then we're gonna feel better about ourselves, right? That's just a good way our bodies need water. So um, drinking water is another healthy habit that is good for us to put on our list. Now, how many of you are list makers? Does anyone like to make a list? Look at the jewelry, she's getting all her jewelry. Ooh, put it on, I love it. Put on your necklace. Pearls. Girl, I love pearls. They're probably like my favorite. Lemonade. Yes. Lemonade is a favorite. So, and you can do lemon water. You can do lemon. You can just put actual squeezed fresh lemons in and then add some sugar. <clears throat> That's better than like nothing, right? <laughs> I had done like half the sugar and then made my lemonade. Yeah, she's a little bit into sugar. Um, Lauren, let's see your necklace. I loved it. Doesn't putting on jewelry make you feel a little bit better? I mean, I think it does. It makes me, see, I put on my earrings for you guys. Mm -hmm. Makes me feel better. And your makeup. Yeah. You were like ready. earlier, like, what about my eye makeup? What about my eyelashes? <laughs> Because I wanted to feel good. I wanted to feel good for you guys. It, it, it makes it, me feel better when I get ready and dressed. That's what we're talking did about. Did you brush your teeth? Yes. Uh, there's, a, there's a tooth right there. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna end that. Okay. Okay. So another thing I want to talk about is making lists. Okay. Now you can make lists on, have you guys seen the little dry erase board? This is our dry erase board. My dry erase board. Right, awesome. Dry erase board. You can make it just on plain paper. Like you don't have to have anything in particular. Um, you can do, I love index cards. That's one of my favorite is using index cards. Um, yes, drink water tea smoothie. Oh, that sounds good. Water tea smoothie. Yeah, and smoothies are another great way to make you, yourself feel good. You know, you can get all this nutrition. You can even hide things in it. Like, hi, Lauren. Um, you can get used to, um, you, can, you can actually sneak in some good food whenever you make a, a smoothie. I've given you guys smoothies before that has like, what? Spinach in it, but they don't know. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I'm never drinking one of your smoothies ever. I made her, I made a brownie um with zucchini in it. It was like the base, and she had it for breakfast, and she thought I was like giving her this like she's like, Mom is cool, give me this brownie, and it ended up being zucchini. <laughs> and she ate it all, but it still tasted good. I know. So there's ways to make healthy food taste good. <sighs> All right, okay, zucchini has a taste. Reagan's made a list for us that you can't read, but here's an example of doing one, two, three, four. I like to do a task list for the day. This is before this pandemic and during it because it makes me feel, do you guys love to check things off or mark it off your list? Like watch. Oh this yeah, for so bedroom. Here. Yes, like when, so Reagan's been redoing her bedroom during this time. So she made a list of things that she would need. So how many of you can make a list? Make a list of what you're doing right now or something that you want to accomplish. So she made, I want paint, I want new curtains, I want new bedspreads, I want new laundry hampers, I want new trash cans. Right. So she wanted things to complete her room. So she made a list. She still has it. And yesterday we painted her room and she's like, I got to find that list so I can mark off paint. So when you do this and you're able to mark things off, see how she's marked it off now? Doesn't that feel so good when you're able to mark things off your list? It makes me feel so good. I love it. Like I mean, it feels like nothing when you cross it off. No, it feels really good. I feel really accomplished. So I love making lists and then marking things off. This is something that I do every day, but also something that we do like in the grand scheme of things. So will you go get, this is one of our twins. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. I'm Romy. You're Romy. This is Romy. Can you give me the task list off of the... Um, fridge so we've been stuck at home now for what 56 days or so uh, well, three months yeah this is like okay. I got it. 
So we made, in the very beginning, in the very, very beginning, we made a list. It's just a handwritten list. And I'm going to go over it with you. It just helps you set your day up. So from 7 to 9, I just said in this segment time, from 7 to 9, it's breakfast. It's time to read. It's time to write and journal. It's time for breakfast and getting dressed and these chores that we're talking about. Almond milk and peanut butter. We need to do a smoothie. Has anyone done a smoothie no, session? That's a good session? Yum. Okay. Um, so, and that smoothie would be great for breakfast. So we're talking about breakfast food. That's something you can do then. And then there's morning chores. That was from 7 to 9 a.m. So we're getting up. We're doing a few chores. We're taking care of our bodies. We're getting ready for the day. What else should we be doing? We should be moving our bodies. If we don't move our bodies, they what? Shut down. So moving your body from nine to 10, we have walk or do yoga or stretching. Go outside, breathe that air. I have for my kids to do their flashcards. If any of you are interested in learning something new, that's a, that's a good time to do it. Just first thing in the morning, maybe you're wanting to learn a new hobby. We'll get to that in a minute. So from 10 to 11, they do their schoolwork. They have worksheets and things they need to accomplish. From 11 to 12, it's fun time, but it's technology, technology free. So it's like playing with dinosaurs, building things, um, reading, they can dress up, Legos. Um, and during that time, I've rotated who makes lunch. So they get a chance to make lunch. That's one-on-one -on -one time with me helping, or if they can do it by themselves, I'm like, do it. Um, so then we have lunchtime, and during lunchtime, we have conversations. If you're living in a group setting, make sure that you are checking on each other. Um, make sure that you're reaching out to one another and having those conversation times. If you aren't with someone right now, how many of you have a phone or a way to reach someone? You have a phone? Hey, half phone. Okay, if you call. don't have the ability to do that, what about writing a letter? What about sending um, them a text? There are ways to reach out to people. And that's really important during this time. Um, writing, drawing, coloring. Um, I have one of these really cool adult coloring books. It's an Any adult? of you have those? Hold on. These are fun. I've seen people do these in work, in work centers too. Um, when you work with one of these, how about doing one of these, coloring it, and then giving it to a caretaker or a staff? Um, or giving it to or sending it with your letter. Yes, sending it with your letter to a family member or checking in on someone. This could really brighten their day and they could put it on their fridge or their window, whatever. They, they would have a place to put that in their house. So that would be a coloring um, thing to do. It's also important that we're reading. So either reading a book or you can also do the audio books. How many of you love to read or um, have done the audio books? That's a great thing to do right now. Learning, reading, you have a lot of free time. We don't need to spend it all on just watching TV, right? Or we don't watching need to, the internet. Or on the internet all the time. We need to spend some time um, learning by reading. And if you're not a big reader, you can do audiobooks. I know David is like, I don't want to hold a book, but he's gotten that Audible app and he's been reading some through that, listening to them um, read to him. So you can always do it that way. What about other chores? Like in the afternoons, we do things like run the sweeper or sweep um, with the broom and dust and laundry. We always have laundry to do. So taking care of your home in those sort of ways as well, that can make you feel better. And those habits that you create in your day are what will keep you healthy and happy during this time, but even beyond this time. Creating healthy habits is never um, something that's wasted. It's something that you will always be able to use and reflect on and um, help, helps you through uh, any time, not just now. Um, then we have some time where they journal, um, they have free play, and then we have a time from six to seven where we're supposed to work on learning something new. We haven't really done that, but we did make a list of things that we wanted to learn, right? Ray, would you go down the list and kind of pick out some things that um, so you could tell them. Type. Yes. Oh, Ray wants to learn how to type. I kind of know. Like on a type on a computer. Okay, typing. Mm, jump rope. Jumping rope. How ride, to address a letter, especially during this time. Write what? Write a check. Oh, write a check. I don't know if I want to teach her that. Create a budget. 
Yes, creating a budget. Right now is a really great time to think about how to spend our money and spend it well and make sure that we're able to get the things that we need with the money that we have. Cook. Cook. Learning Hop how to cook. Scotch. Hopscotch. Why well, one tie a shoe? Yes, my son wants to learn how to tie his shoes. Those are all good, healthy habits to learn things Make right now. popcorn. Really? Fun. You must have wanted to do that. Make a to-do list. And we're talking about that today. How to make a to-do list and complete it. Check things off. Making our beds is on here for those younger ones who don't know how to do it. Washing dishes. Um, babysitting. <clears throat> babysitting. Yes. Um, so those are all some things that we have wanted to learn how to do. We made a list and decided these are things we want to take advantage of learning during this time while we're at home. Um, I touched a little bit on sending a letter, um, a note, and this is a box of cards. If you guys don't have a box of cards, you should definitely get them because you'll always need, it's always going to be someone's birthday or someone's getting married or they're having a baby. Um, thank you notes. And so these are just um, how I keep cards. Um, we actually got this from Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, we ordered this from them for oh, a fundraiser. Aaron Hill. Aaron Vito. G. Oh. Um, so this is a box of cards and we get through here and I've used these a lot. Um, what we do is pick out a couple people a week that we want to send something to, something that people were thinking about. Like and so, yes, and we address them and then put our stamp on there and mail them out. Another thing you can do, there's nothing like a handwritten note. So if you're able to handwrite some things, that's even better because people love to see how you feel about them and that you're thinking of them. Um, and like I said, you can even include like a coloring sheet or if you make some jewelry or if you have something that you're um, really good at, maybe you're like journaling, painting, um, maybe you've been painting some of those sun catchers in the windows. Those are things that you can send in the mail um, to those people that you're thinking about. Um, that's the last thing I want to talk about is reaching out to others. And so we're going to kind of go through some gratitude ideas with you. This is a journal for girls that Regan has. This is a gratitude finder that I have. And this is me and mom. Yeah. And this is like a journal that uh, Regan and I write back and forth to each other. But she hasn't really been cool. then. So well, you, haven't, book. you haven't left it for me under my pillow, girl. Wait, you left it under your pillow? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is um, a gratitude journal. And it talks about each day leaving something um, that I'm thankful for. I think we can get in a time, especially right now, where we're not sure um, what to be grateful for. Um, but there are plenty of things. And that can include people or it can include just things that you have right now that um, you're, you're blessed to have and you're thankful to have and grateful to have. Um, you can be thankful for people. Um, random acts of kindness is another thing that I um, write down in here. Um, things that I'm able to do and give, even right now, even staying at home, there's a lot of ways that you can be a kindness um, giver, someone who gives kindness and shows kindness to people that, yes, even for your mom, that is a good idea, uh, especially coming up on Mother's Day weekend and thinking about how you can show your mom love. Um, there are ways that you can write them notes or you can do some of that jewelry I was talking about or coloring, but moms really just want to hear your words to them. They just want to know that you are thinking of them and that they're, um, them pouring into your life has meant so much to you. It also has words of the week. So you can choose a word of the week to really say, okay, this week I want to focus on, what the word, Ray? Um, I want to focus on, uh, Outside. Outside. I want to focus on outside. So then that coming week, you would incorporate going outside somehow every day. And right now with the weather being tricky, that's kind of like, hmm, how do we do that? But you could be creative. You can come up with ways to be outside every like single day. Like a patio? You have a patio. You have a porch. Um, you could even go on a drive. Um, you can spend the days that are really nice outside. Um, swinging. We love to swing here. Yeah, so a tent, that's, and that's really nice. A tent. That would be fun. Um, so those are things that you can use. You can focus on a word of the week and then uh, spend time making sure that you incorporate that word. How about happiness? Okay, so now how do I incorporate being happy into every day? It can be about your own happiness. So you can do an inner happiness, but then also how to give happiness to others, make other people happy. Um, so those are things that I want you to think about. Now, 
I wrote down a couple questions and I thought maybe you guys can respond with me. Um, one thing is something to focus on that's outer. So your house or you, something new, a habit that you're going to incorporate, a, ha a healthy habit that is outward. So something for you or your house, like I'm going to start um, doing the dishes every day. I'm not going to leave dishes in the sink every night. Or I'm going to get up and drink a glass of water every day. So someone type in the comments, maybe something that you're going to incorporate that you're going to do now, a healthy habit. Let's hear some healthy habits that you guys, just one that you're going to take on because you don't want to overwhelm yourself, but one new healthy habit that you want to do um, this coming week. Reagan, you have a type, 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 type. Um, you're sending your comment? Writing a letter. <laughs> okay, so she's going to write a letter. Okay. So this week, Reagan's new habit is she's going to write one letter this week. That sounds great. Say, you already did it? Oh, so no. You know. This is about her boyfriend. How old are you, Reagan? <laughs> and he's younger than me. Are you allowed to have a boyfriend? Yes, Daddy agreed on that boy. Daddy agreed on that boy? What? I said he has to have a job. <laughs> yes, he has to have a job first. So. And learn how to spell her name. He, he misspelled her name. And learn how to spell her name. <laughs> No, and, actually, that so any thinking. new habit, any anyone with a new habit. How about these smoothies? You guys are really into those. How about us? You're going to try a new smoothie recipe this coming week. Okay, so those are some ideas, something new that you're going to try this coming week, um, a new healthy habit that you're going to incorporate. Maybe it's putting on jewelry every day. Maybe it is getting up and um, washing your face every morning so that you feel better about the day. Okay, and now one thing inside of you. So one thing you're going to focus on that's new that you're going to establish inside. So what would that be? Something like we're going to be grateful. We're going to have a good attitude. Um, we're going to be kind to people, even though we want to maybe punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, something inside of you. Okay. So think of something that you want to do inside. You want to work on the inside of you. Maybe you want to work on being grateful. So why don't you can even get some post-its. Post-it notes are really fun. You could write on these reasons that you're grateful and then post it on like a mirror or on your bedroom door. Um, and it can remind you when you're walking in and out um, ways that you, you are grateful for, things you're grateful for. And then that would really help you kind of get a better mindset because um, right now you're stuck at home. All right. And then I want you guys to really concentrate and promise me you'll do this. One thing for others this coming week, one thing outside of yourself that you are doing for someone else. So is that sending a card? Is that making one of those scrubs we talked about last week? Is it doing the dishes for the people in your house? Is it um, preparing like a special meal for everyone? Is it making some jewelry? I, whatever, something outside of yourself that um, everyone can know that you're loving on other people. You wanna make sure that um, you're taking care of others, the people that you live with. What's one thing you could do for someone else this week? Let out the chickens on their own duty. Yeah, so Reagan and Rylan um, take turns as our, our two oldest kids doing a chore, which is letting out our chickens every day and collecting their eggs and making sure they have water and feed. And so Reagan said she could do it on one of Rylan's days and give him a break. Yeah, super nice, like just giving him the opportunity to rest. But then wouldn't he have to pay me back with me not doing it? Mm, see, we do things with a kind heart not to get things in return, but to make sure that we are just doing it out of a place of love for others. But to make it fair when he do it. Like, it's not about being fair. It's about being loving and giving. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, with nothing in return. That's what that heart of kindness and attitude of gratitude mm -hmm. is about. Great. <laughs> okay so anything else you can think of that we can do outside of ourselves um, a really practical thing stop picking on the twins and making them angry yeah so if you know um you know right now that's something important to talk about right now we are in close quarters with people and it's a really strange time it's just not a time where um things are normal and so if it's if something's coming up where you and someone else are really like having a lot of friction, give yourself some grace, give them some grace right now is not the time to, to fight or to, um, 
to really get into some sort of argument with people. It's a time to just say, hey, listen, none of us um, like right now. It's just not normal. It's very hard. Um, so giving each other just some space and, and making sure that we take care of each other and love one another. But what if they do it first and then you want to act out? Well, then you have to turn the other cheek, right? You have to be the bigger person. Sometimes being the bigger person is the better thing. And walking away and, you know, not engaging in those conversations that are only going to lead to um, disappointment. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So today we learned about a lot of healthy habits, ways to start your day, making sure that you're taking care of you on the outside, on the inside. And then um, once we've filled our own cups, we're able to then pour out into other people. So if we're not filled up, if we're not taking care of ourselves, if we're not building healthy habits, then we're not able to love others well. So these were just some helpful tips and hints for you to pour into your own life whether it be just healthy habits in general, like taking care of your hygiene and drinking and um, eating well, establishing some routines in your home, like um, sweeping and making sure that you are taking care of chores. And then also thinking of others that you're around, making sure that you are taking care of other people too, being kindness, throwing gratitude around like confetti is what they say. So write that letter, make that call, um, text that friend, Check on your parents, check on your loved ones, maybe even your staff. Um, everyone is having a hard time right now. So make sure that you are loving and showing as much love and grace to others as you can. All right. Anything else? Okay. Here? How big is our cup? Oh, well, your cup is as big as you are. So, yeah. Yeah. We'll just pour it in. <laughs> if you take care of yourself, then you can outpour to others. Yeah. You mean like spit it out? overflow it's an overflow yeah any questions any ideas or suggestions about making these to-do lists or task list what Ray? <laughs> the other twins in the background <laughs> he's right there well another great segment ladies as always um, so many tips and ideas to keep us feeling positive right now. I love right. the morning routine and, and taking care of yourself. It's so important to do that. Um, I know it's difficult because you lack that motivation. But once you get into that routine, it, you have such a, a more positive outlook on your life. And it makes the next day easier and easier to get through yeah. because you, you just start feeling more more and more better about who you are and, and where you're it's like inertia. it is it's like you know if you start making your bed then you want to do other things so it's like you make that one step and then it grows and grows and grows yes and lists lists are so helpful um i know I, my whole life is a list yeah. constantly um crossing things off and adding to it um i have lists for everything in my life you know whether it's yeah. personal uh, my work lists, you know, my list with my kids. Um, mm -hmm. So I know my my technology has helped with that too. It helps to write things down, but with me, I'm I'm busy, so I'm I'm quick to put it into my phone, so it's right there and it's easy for me to access and know what I need to accomplish. So right. those were wonderful ideas. Yeah. Um, Reagan, it went a lot be better for you this week um, than last week. Obviously, yeah. you got put makeup on instead of honey in your hair so <laughs> she just didn't like the toothpaste or um washing her face but hey it was I an improvement my, i only wash my face with water no soap yeah so this so. is new for her <laughs> <laughs> oh that was that was great so right now you know we want to go outside but it's difficult to do that and especially today i know this weekend's going to be very cold uh, it's going to feel like the Arctic here in Ohio in some ways. I actually talked to somebody in another part of the state that said it was snowing where they're at. So happy Friday, everyone. But we're going to stay warm here inside, and we're going to have fun on Powell's TV. It's been a blast already this morning, um, and we'll continue to have a lot of fun in the afternoon with, with tons of different activities going on. So we're going to take another short break, uh, about 15, 20 minutes or so, and then coming back, to you live from Harrison County for our noon segment. So thanks again, Brooke, Reagan, you did wonderful. I'm so thankful for 
all the positive tips and, and everything that you've been able to give to us here. And I love the cards too, by the way, it means a lot. Um, so stay safe out there. Come back and join us in about 15, 20 minutes. And to all your moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Brooke. Have a great weekend. All right. See everyone here soon.